Let's take a flash that. Once I press and test, um, I have the core C++. There, I only have one for some reason, and that's because I am doing HTML instead of the append. Uh, so actually, what I want to do is I want to clear everything. Should have done this as the first step, actually. Clear everything. And then do an append to that. Okay, so that should be better now. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is our second page. And just to be sure that this works properly, uh, let's visit the third page. Page 3. Refresh that, test, and here's my page 3. Okay, so we know that works. And notice how it's uh, all ugly because the, con uh, because the accordion is not being applied. And even if I do apply the accordion at this point, with the same parameters I gave to the Zen's accordion pane, I mean container. It's still not going to work. Okay. Uh, the reason being is that the all the attributes are not being reapplied to this new set of data. Uh, so to show you what I mean by that, uh, let's note at what the DOM looks like for this area. So here we have books, ID, and then class, and this is what actually makes the table container possible from the jQuery's point of view. And once we apply the HTML, the new HTML that we load in for the second page, Notice how the class uh, roles stay the same while the new date is being pushed in. So none of this is actually being applied to here. It's just replacing the old stuff, but the overall class is not being applied to it. Uh, because it needs to be done in a hierarchical order from here to here. You can't just inject the data into here and then expect this to reapply. No, it has to work from uh, top to bottom. So what we need to do is to make sure that whenever the data reaches this content area here, this container area, um, e the container always gets reapplied. So what we can do is change our design a little bit in our view script. Uh, what we will do is surround all of this by another div and that way we can manipulate the page in jQuery much easier so there is absolutely no change on the Zen framework side this is purely for the jQuery front end all I'm doing is adding another div Okay, so now I call this div book response, and what I can do now is clear the book's response ID, so I don't have anything in it at all anymore, not even the ID books. So what I'm essentially trying to do is get rid of this here completely. I'm trying to get rid of this div container completely. There should not be any difference at all at this point. Instead, I now have the ID books inside of the books response container. when I press here 
I now have the response cleared as it should and what I want now is a um, notice how there is no books ID there and I am going to put that in my front-end function that way everything is consistent both at the back end at the end at the front end so this is just the same thing here as in here just to keep things consistent I could of course use the DOM manipulations to do the uh, adding the div with the attributes and everything but I'm just tapping in the tags manually for the sake of simplicity and with that I should have the before and after consistent alright so now everything is consistent and is being applied in the proper hierarchical order and finally I am just going to modify this piece so the accordion is being applied at the proper section response books and once I press this now everything works just fine okay so that is the little sample of how you can get the Ajax request from the Zen framework uh, this was long and confusing uh, but essentially all that's happening is that I am sending a format equals JSON or format equals XML to the Zen framework and then depending on the format it switches the context to the alternative one uh, which can be either JSON or XML XML takes a different file and JSON just serializes all the variables and then it outputs the content to the front end and then the job of the front end is to pick up that content and apply it properly to the overall page so I hope this was understandable and in the next tutorial, the next part, I will go through these controllers and, and make sure that the pages are switched properly using the Ajax way.